Hey guys, it's your girl London, and today I am bringing you a Project Pan update number one. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified of all my new videos. And if for whatever reason you haven't, go ahead and head on over to Instagram and follow me at London Brielle so that we can see what I do when I'm not here on YouTube. So if you want to see how my Project Pan has been going and see what the first update holds, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and let's get into kind of the weight of all the products that we have. Um, we are going to be talking about some of the products that did not necessarily work because we did kick out two products and we did replace them with two other products. And I was supposed to have 20 products to start with and somehow I only ended up with 19. How did you guys let that slip by? Hello. So we also have a new family member. So let's get started with the current weights of things. So first let's go with the Wishful Scrub. This is a very fine milled scrub. You can use it daily. I do use it daily. At first, it was very awkward. It just felt like it was peeling up on your skin. It was odd to use. Um, it just felt kind of like if you have Tide Pods, but instead of the liquid, it has the powder detergent in there, and it doesn't fully kind of dissolve in the washer, and it's just crumbling and breaking apart. That's what it reminded me of. It was very strange, but when you wash it off your face, your face feels so smooth. This is fantastic. Um, so I have been using it on a daily basis and our original start weight was 1.7 fluid ounces. Or I should say 1.07 fluid ounces to be correct because those are two very different things. Um, and our current weight is one fluid ounce. So I have used 0 0.7 fluid ounces of this product. So very good. I'm very excited about that. Okay. The next product that we have, let me go ahead and get to it, was the Neutrogena Rapid Pads. Um, so I know I had used a couple before we had started, but these are supposed to be kind of eight hour pads. You use them on your face and for eight hours it's supposed to be in your skin kind of um, helping to clear up breakouts and helping to prevent breakouts. I use these three times a day. Um, originally I was washing my face twice a day, but I've been more active with working out and it has been quite hot here in New Jersey. So I wash my face in the morning when I first get up and then I wash my face after I work out and I wash my face before I go to bed. These are eight hours. So essentially 24 hours a day. I feel like I'm covered. Um, the first time we weighed these, it was 4.8 fluid ounces and today, let's see. Oh my gosh, 2.2 fluid ounces. I know it looks like there's a tiny stack of pads left in here. Let me show you guys. Um, originally there were 60 pads and if you look inside, if you guys can even see that, there probably is, I mean it looks like maybe 15, 20 pads, um, but I definitely did not think it was going to be 2.2 fluid ounces. That's basically like half. So we definitely have used quite a bit and I can say that I feel like they have really been helping my skin, um, whether that's just psychological or actually is. I feel like if I feel like there's a little bit of a breakout, when I wake that on there in the morning time, it's gone. So I really do like that. The next thing we have is something that I was a little leery about, and that is the Kylie Skin Foaming Face Wash. If you guys recall, I got this in the BoxyCharm, and I was a little skeptical of, hmm, you know, it's Kylie's skin. It's hit or miss. You either love it or you hate it. What I can say is, look at how much I've used. Now, again, this gets used three times a day. Um, you only need one pump of this, maybe even half a pump, and it really washes your whole face. I have found, again, I'm not a skincare specialist, um, knowing ingredients and things like that, so I'm not sure what is good or bad or indifferent in this product, but what I have found for my face in particular is that it really does a nice job of cleansing my face, and I have found it to actually be pretty good. I know, I know, but I have found it to actually be pretty good. Um, it it actually is a pretty nice foaming cleanser. It feels great on my skin. It doesn't dry my skin out. I actually like it, guys. I know, I know, call me crazy, but I actually freaking like it. So the first time we weighed it, it was 7.2 fluid ounces, and today it is 5.7 fluid ounces. So we have definitely used quite a bit of this product, as you can see, just by looking at it. And you can tell from the weight of the product. 
So, and if you're wondering what I keep looking down at is I have everything written on these sticky notes to kind of keep me on track with where I'm going and with all of this stuff so I can make sure I get everything done here. The next thing we have is the Becca Primer. So the Becca Primer was the, guys, I thought I did, let me just, okay, this is so embarrassing. I thought I didn't have 20 products. I did have 20 products. I put number three two times. I put number three for the Kylie Skin and number three for the Becca Primer. So all we're going to be doing is replacing the products that get kicked out with two products to put in their place. We're not actually adding a whole new family member. Stop it. Oh, it's guys, it's been a day. I need some coffee. It's been a rough go of it this morning. Let me tell you, there's been a lot going on and I'm having a rough time. So we're going to try to keep getting through this, but just explain what I said earlier about not having 20 products, because clearly that was not the case. I just, I can't count. What's math? Who knows? I can't count. So the Becca primer, this primer is so fantastic. Like I knew that I enjoyed it before, but since using it every time I put on my makeup, oh my gosh, I think that this makes such a freaking difference. This does give you some radiance to the skin, but I feel like it also does fill in your pores. It feels fantastic. It doesn't pill. It doesn't dry my face out. You don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. This is a really great primer if you have not already tried it. Um, I do think it blurs and brightens. I really, I'm, like I said, I already knew that I liked it, but I'm shocked by how much I am still liking it to the point of, is this holy grail status? I don't know, but this is fantastic. So our original weight for this was 1.5 fluid ounces, and today it's 1.4 fluid ounces. Holy crap. I mean, I didn't realize I had used that much because you can't really see inside here. It doesn't seem like a lot, but to be quite honest with you, Go me. Yeah, absolutely, because you only need a dab will do you on that one. The next is the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. Like I said before, I got this in the BoxyCharm. Um, I have been using this, and it has been laying my eyeshadows down. Very nice. Um, I, I really like this. Um, the NYX Proof It is really my holy grail. But honestly, guys, this is a close second. Um, I really like this. So our original weight was 0.5 ounces. And we're at 0.4 ounces. Oh my gosh, guys. Stop it. Are you kidding me right now? I cannot even deal with it. This is just, that is crazy town. Crazy town, crazy town. I cannot even deal with the fact that an eyeshadow primer, we have gone down anything like that crazy okay next is the kaja lip gloss so this is how what it looks like in the bottle um to be quite honest with you i have not really used this i've used this a handful of times um again it's because i have way too many lip products but i really just haven't been using this as much as i would have liked to have been using it um and our first weight was one ounce and again this is one ounce which is no surprise to me because like I said, I have not been using it the way that I really should have been using it. So that is something that I really need to focus my attention more on because clearly I am feeling Kaja. Next is the e.l.f. Lifting Concealer. Now, this, when we originally weighed it, was not able to be weighed. Um, this just came up as zero. So let's try it again today. Oh, today it actually did come up. It came up as 0.8. Okay, so... 0.8 ounces. I do not know what it was originally because originally when we weighed it, it was zero and it doesn't tell me the ounces on the package, but I have been using this daily. So this has been getting daily use. Um, it is difficult for me to even see on the inside because it has kind of like a stopper in there. So I'll just keep going with it and We'll keep weighing it now that it can be weighed, and we'll also see kind of when it stops um, having any product come out. It's so weird that it didn't weigh before, and now it's weighing. So, very strange. So, I guess we'll just go with the uh, 0.8 as kind of the starting point for things. So, the Fenty Lip Shine, or Slip Shine, Slip and Go. This is in the color Candy Quartz, Quartz Candy. Let me show you guys. I have actually used quite a bit of this. Now, remember I told you guys this is very soft. Now, in comparison to the other colors in this line, to me, this is the softest one. Uh, I'm not quite sure if adding pigment um, makes it a bit firm, 
but this is very soft so you just have to do a light layer otherwise you basically get goopies on your lip because it is so soft now when we first weighed this this was 0.7 uh, fluid ounces and today again it is 0.7 so I find that to be very strange because I feel like when I do the pictures it's really gonna show um, that there was some usage but hey the weight is the weight right the uh, next thing that we have is the Glow Recipe Avocado Sleepy Mask. So this was the Retinol Sleepy Mask. I got this in the BoxyCharm. I have used quite a bit of it in comparison to what I used before. Um, still kind of smells a bit like paste. I do really like this. What I found though is that if you're looking for something with retinol in it, I don't know uh, if this would be what you're looking for. Does it hydrate my skin when I wake up? Yes. Does my skin feel smooth? Yeah. No more smooth than kind of the night before. Um, but I just don't know how much of something it necessarily does. So I'll have to keep going with this to kind of see like what kind of results I actually think it's yielding. Um, but it doesn't feel bad on the face. So our original weight was 8 fluid ounces, and today it's 7.7 .7 fluid ounces. So as you can see, we definitely have been using this bad boy. Um, so I want to keep using it to kind of get a better overall view of what my thoughts kind of are on it. So here we go. We're here. Here's our first fallen soldier. So we have the Pixie Hydrating Milky Makeup Remover. So this is how much I've used in the bottle. I had mentioned previously that when you put this on your eyes or get anywhere around the eyes, excuse me, um, this burns and this says you can put this on your eyes to remove eye makeup. This burns, this burns, this burns, uh, this burns so much that I had to discontinue using it. Um, I just was not going to continue to put myself through that. I was just like, there's got to be better ways. I'll use a cleansing wipe, but I cannot use this because it just burns. So this one is now taken out of the project pan, but the original weight was 5.5 fluid ounces and its first and last update yielded it at 5.2 fluid ounces. So I did give it a good go, guys. I gave it the old college try, but we just had to remove that product from the project pan. Um because it, it just it was just burning too much. So the next product that we have, again, we have a bit of bad news. We had a bit of a rough go, and that is this, I'm just knocking so many things around right now. This is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel. So if you guys remember, this was something that you could use AM and PM. I primarily used it in the AM because I was using other products at night. So, Feels nice when it goes on, lightweight, great. Let's take the wrinkles away. I started using this probably the third day in. Um, I put it on in the morning. It was the only thing I put on. I put on no other products. I put on no makeup, no nothing, um, because I was just going over to my sister's house for the day. I woke up the next morning with Milia. I believe it's called Milia, Mila, those tiny little bumps everywhere that have, they look almost like white heads, but they're not, and you're not supposed to pop them because there is no head to them. Um, it can be from a reaction, this, that, and the other. I did go to the doctor. It was a reaction to the moisturizer. There's something in it. I don't know if it's the fragrance. It is very heavily fragranced. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was all over my cheeks, all over my forehead. It was just, it was everywhere. It was, I've never experienced that much texture in my life it was so painful right here it was so red and it was it the bumps were so painful I've never experienced anything like that before I do have pictures um that I will insert um I do want to do a, a, a video on this because I just don't know what was in this but it was just the worst experience of my life um and from that I had to kind of change up my entire skincare routine to add a lot of retinol to try to get my skin back to where it is now um and it took about three weeks um three and a half weeks to kind of really get the milia to go away luckily um, I saw my doctor but I did not need to go see a dermatologist they didn't need to you know do anything with it I was able to kind of 
control it with some other products you know what I mean and kind of let my face run its course but this I will never use again um, if it works for you I'm so glad but for me absolutely not this had to had to go um, our original fluid ounces was 6.5 and I ended up with 6.4 on its first and last update so I did you know I, I used a bit of the product guys but it just absolutely not never again um, will not be using that so the next product we have is the Smith & Colt Veiled Threat Weightless Blur Micro Blurring Foundation. Again, I haven't used this as much as I anticipated. Um, what ended up happening was I ended up using the Marc Jacobs Shameless of the small kind of sample tubes and that's what I have on today and that's what I've really been liking. Um, so I kind of didn't use this as much as I had anticipated that I would. Um, the original weight of this was five fluid ounces and again it came in at five fluid ounces which is not too... Um, you know, it's not surprising. It's not unexpected. I haven't been using it the way that I had hoped to, so I really need to focus more on that. The next thing that we have is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Moisturizer. I have used quite a bit of this. I really, really like this. This is so nice, light, bright. You need maybe two or three pumps. Very good. Um, it's not. It does smell like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, but the smell's not overwhelming. Um, I feel like it does provide enough hydration. I just really like this, um, and I have really been getting my use out of it. As you can see, keep putting my pen in my hand from just the bottle, where you can see. Before, I, I think I said I'd use like maybe like. 50% of it, maybe 75% of it. I, I definitely have used quite a bit in here. So originally when we weighed it, it weighed in at 6.6 .6 fluid ounces. And today when we are weighing it, it is coming in at 6.5 fluid ounces. So we have used a little bit of it. Fantastic. That's what we want to see. We want to see progress towards panning, right? And the next thing that we have is the Ula Hendrickson, and this is the Balancing Focus Oil Control Toner. Now, if you guys remember, this is filled to the top, and look at how much I've used. I have used quite a bit of this. The problem with this toner is that I think that it's fantastic, and I think it's really helped my skin this summer um, not be as oily as it was. Um, this, I think, has been a great help. The problem is, is that I use the Sh Shiseido cotton pads, so I, they're very good quality but you just need so much of this toner on the pad to really do your whole face. Um, so I think it works fantastically. And I really try to concentrate in my T-zone area because that's where I get the most oil. However, I think that purchasing a full-size bottle, I don't know because you use so much of it um, in order to kind of use it. And I was only using this once a day because you have to use so much of it on the pad itself. So originally this weighed in at 2.8 fluid ounces and right now guys we are at 1.5 fluid ounces so we have used quite a freaking bit of that toner the next thing we have is the california blush and i don't know if you guys will be able to see but you could, there is a there's a slight little dippy do there's, there's a little dip and do in there so I've been liking this but I have another product that I've been using so while I've been using this frequently and there's a little dip in it I still need to be focusing on using it more this originally was 0 0.9 uh, so 0.9 fluid ounces and again this is 0.9 fluid ounces um, or I should say ounces I don't know why I keep saying why do I keep saying fluid ounces somebody Somebody grab me. Ounces, ounces, ounces. I guess because ounces. So it's the same. Um, we were at, you know, 0.9 and we're at 0.9 again. No change in that. And that is to be expected because, again, I've been using it. There is a dip, but I think it's just kind of hard with powder products to really see a huge change in that. The next thing that we have is the Kosas bronzer, which you guys know, this is a favorite of mine. I absolutely love it. I use it every single time that I put on makeup. And I didn't think that I had made any progress on it visually until I watched back my old video. And absolutely, absolutely, the ball of that is not even sticking out round anymore. I definitely am making progress on this. I just, oh, love, love, love this bronzer. Um, so when we first weighed it, it was 2.6 ounces. Oh, it still says 2.6. Again, so hard for that. But you guys, totally, I'm going to try to insert the picture here. 
you can totally tell. This is a fantastic freaking bronzer, though, if you guys are in the market for having one. The next thing is the Fenty bronzer, and this is in Caramel Cutie. And originally, I had a little bit of pan right here, which it has expanded. And now I have, if you can see it, just a little tiny sliver up above that, where I've hit a little bit more pan. So we're well on our way with that. And like I said, I use this more as kind of like a contour because it's a bit cooler. So this originally started out at 2.2. Oh, snap! 2.1! Oh, my goodness. Okay, 2.1 ounces so we have used a little bit of that and we could actually see that from the powder so i am excited uh the next thing we have is the makeup forever matte velvet skin powder in 425 as you guys know i also had a bit of pan on that and the pan ex has expanded a little bit i have not used this quite as much as i thought i would um because i think it was from using the ula hendrickson oil control toner that i started not setting my face I didn't feel like I needed to, and it actually has been working out, which is wild, I know. Um, but yeah, so I've used it, but I haven't used it as much as I thought I would because that freaking toner really worked out. So originally when this was weighed, it was 3 ounces, and now it is 2.9 ounces so we have used a little bit of it like i said um but wasn't a ton um that we used because you know i haven't really been studying my face so the next product we have is the ColourPop sweet talk palette which as you guys know is one oh i almost match it is one of my absolute favorite palettes of all time absolutely love this summer spring winter or fall this is your ride or die um there's, a, there's clearly still a dip in this one. There's a dip coming through on this one. Um, tiny little something here, but not really too much. I don't think we're going to see any progress as far as in the powder. And you can slightly see something, like, visually, but not too much. Um, originally, we weighed this. It was 4.2 ounces. And, again, it's 4.2 ounces. Um, I have been using it, but, again, I have a shop my stash if you guys have not seen that video i will put it in the uh, information box down below as well as with my intro project pan video um but i have some other palettes that i've been using too so guys when you have literally like 250 plus palettes there's a lot there's a lot to go through and a lot to give attention to so which is why we're doing the project pan right so that you know clearly stayed the same and uh, the next product that we had was the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette and this is our last product from the original Project Pam. This is a fantastic palette. This is just oh. Now I did a three looks one palette on this video, uh, video on this. I just don't know if I really like the way that it came out so I may refilm it. I may just go ahead and edit it. I don't know if I really like the way that I kind of shot it together, but I, I really did enjoy this palette. So if I don't put that palette in, um, I mean that palette, if I don't edit that video, I real, will redo a three looks, one palette because this is a fantastic palette. As you can see, the color Coco Crush has a massive dip in it. Um, a little something on Nutty, and we still have a little something here on DeCoco. Um, so a little, little bit. These look like small pans, but to be honest with you, they have a lot of product. So this originally was 3.6 ounces, and this is wavering in between 3.5, 3.6, although it is settling on 3.6. I think that we're close to kind of actually having some number change in the product itself. So very excited about that. Let's talk products that we got rid of. So like I said, we got rid of the... Pixie Milky Makeup Remover, and we got rid of the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior, which caused my milia. So with that being said, we're adding in two new products. So the new product that we're adding in is going to be the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Mist. I just got this recently in a BoxyCharm, and I have been loving it. It's a, it's a dewy mist. Get out of town. I was always using matte. It's a dewy mist. Like, is my face changing or are the products causing my face to change? But I have been freaking loving this. So, I have used it. So, you know, I just got it probably four or five days ago. So, I've used it a handful of times. But let's go ahead and see what the weight of this is. 
and it looks like it is going to be 3.6 ounces so that's where we'll start it with that it smells like coconut I just I really really like that freaking uh, spray the next thing that we are going to kind of look at is we are going to be using the elf color correcting stick so I have been using this in conjunction with the HD lift concealer and I love it this is in the color dark circles light skin tone 83211 is what it says so again I have been using this so it's not the same uh, amount that it was but this is a, kind of like our starting point right here um, absolutely love this this is so fantastic it's not too dry it's not too emollient uh, it has a convenient package it's just it's really really good so let's get our starting weight for that and this is 0.6 ounces so very very good so those are the two new products that we put in because we took out two products so we still have our 20 products total so guys let me know what did you think about the updates with this what did you think about the products what do you think about freaking kate somerville causing me to have milia like i i, I like i said i'm gonna try to put the pictures in i think i want to do a video about it it was a little bananas so we won't be doing that again but let me know your thoughts feelings down in the comment section below and i will see you guys again next month to do another update and we'll see where we're at with everything so if you guys are doing project pans please leave your videos down below or leave um your names down below so i can come over and check them out because i want to see how you guys are doing on your project pans too i wish you guys the best of luck on them because project panning is hard guys it is not an easy thing to do it is very hard so thank you so much for taking the time out to sit with me today and kind of go over this i know it's a fairly long video because of all the weights but i really appreciate it turn it on eat some breakfast take a shower clean the house watch the kids listen to it in the background um, but i appreciate you guys spending that time with me as usual so if you enjoyed this video two enthusiastic thumbs up please and hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of all my new videos Videos, head over to Instagram again and follow me at Lynn and Brielle so you can kind of see what happens in my life and until next time guys I love you I'll miss you and I'll see you in my next video I love you guys bye